How's it going, y'all? Silent E, TCG here, back again with another deck profile on the deck I'm currently using this week and that I actually came in first place with. So we actually did it. Finally got a dub. Um, went undefeated. We had four rounds. Um, round one was a mirror match. Well, let me go ahead and show you who I'm using. First of all, before I get the detail, we're using Red Zorro. Um, arguably the best deck of the format. So definitely was fun to use. Got the alternate, of course. Had to rock that, as always. And, as for the proof, I even got the winner pack. So, we'll open that towards the end of the video. But, yeah, I've been, um, used Red Zorro this time. Went undefeated, uh, four rounds. Uh, first match, mirror match, was another Red Zorro. And then, second game was Purple Kaido. Third game, or not third game, but third round, um, Green Odin. And then round four was a uh, blue crocodile. So I played every color uh, possible and it went great. You know, I had a good time. We had about 16 players, so I went to four rounds. But then um, I ended up going undefeated with Zoro. So definitely happy about that. Um, build was, you know, a couple changes every day or a couple days and, you know, just trying out builds or uh, different, you know, card lineups and all that working with different numbers but found success so definitely glad it turned out turned out this way so we'll go ahead and get into the deck i'll show you all what i've been running and then you know any play-by-play -play that i can recall but uh start off for nami definitely need that no questions asked searching the majority of the deck get what you need uh for otama definitely need her and we got for a uh, chopper, the only only blocker is for. Uh, I got one Usopp, um, not only for the two K counter, <clears throat> but it came up when I had to uh, put a dawn on him to draw a card if I know my opponent is going to um, play an event. So it came up sometimes, but for the most part, I'll just hold it in hand if I if I don't need to bring out bring him out at all. Uh, for Sanji, for uh, for the two K counter as well. His effect's not really too bad either. <clears throat> Allowing me to, you know, if I'm still at five or four at least, I can just play him, you know, have him out there already. Take a life. He'll gain 2K, and then he'll gain two Rest of Dawn. And then with Zoro's ability, he'll be at eight. So that's 8K coming at you. Kind of hard to handle sometimes. So he was good, but for the most part, just counter. 2K counter. Same with Brooks. Just 2K counter. I never even played him. But he's here if I need to, you know, if need be. And then I got more twos. Uh, just two Vivi. I didn't do any of the level ones like Sunny Coon. I just stuck with a Vivi package and just other cards. So she was good. Just a good 5K or whatever need be. Uh, two Sanji. That's all I needed. I don't have the uh, one drop Nami to give the rest of Dawn to anybody. So I just didn't want to crank up too much on him. And, you know, there's no counter, so, you know, two was fine. Worked out pretty well. And we got four Go uh, Gordon, again, 2K counter, but his effect's really good because on play, I can, I can just get rid of a, a blank card I don't need right away. Put on the bottom and draw a card. So if I get a Shanks too early, which I will, spoiler alert, if I get, or I get a, get a Sanji I don't need right away, just bottom, bottom deck it, draw a card. And again, if I don't play it, 2K counter. And we got four Nicker Robin. Definitely need four of her. It's probably your best turn to play. Just to make sure your opponent don't have any pesky followers up for a while. And then a four of, of course, four Zoro. I mean, can't run the deck without him. <laughs> four for sure. Definitely is a key card. And it gets the job done. Uh, two uh, Uta. Just being able to reoccur <clears throat> all of these cards, you know, Zoro, Chopper, Usopp, Otama, any Anami, any of them. Just get them back to hand for a reusability. <clears throat> then I only used three uh, Luffy. Definitely was fine. I mean, I didn't think I needed four. Three worked out pretty well. If you don't run a Shanks, I would use four. But I do, so which I can get into it now. I use two shanks. Uh just a boss card, you know, bring him out if you're on if you're going first. You have nine. I bring him out right away immediately. Like 
pretty much that turn. And then if he stays up, you know, he stays up. So they got to worry about him more than anything else for sure. But like I said, if you don't run Shanks, maybe you run one Shanks. You can run, you can run the uh, four Luffy if y'all choose to do so. so. That's it for the followers. And then we got the events, uh, one round table. Just to deal with the Kaido and Kid. And if you got Robin, you can pretty much KO anything and the Tactical Leader for like five or six. Uh, just three jet pistol. Um, four is not bad, but I think three is fine. You know, whether it's one in deck, one in hand, one in life, it's like the Trinity spots you want them to be sometimes. And fourth one might come up, but who knows? But three worked out pretty well for me. And then probably the key card for everything, the two Diablo Jambe, um, definitely was key card to help me win nearly all my matches, if not every match I played. So. It definitely was fine at two. I might aim at the three, but I don't think I think I might. You know, I think it was fine for, just for two. Just being able to put it on Zoro, just attack for 14 unblockable. 14k unblockable is really good. Or any any character that might need it. Uh, straw hat character, that is. But for the most part, that was it. Definitely was a good day. Um, definitely had a good time. Didn't think I would come in first place, but, you know, I just played right. Played, played, you know aggressive and just kept attacking kept powering over seven you know eight you know um i can play diablo a little early to make sure i get a successful hit in i can bring out you know luffy or or, or um shanks and that's guaranteeing hits too or i can sneak one in with either either sanji this one or the rush one but overall performed really well and definitely glad i i took it home for once so we'll go ahead and open it up see what I can get in here. Hoping I get the, uh, the Luffy, but we'll see. Okay, it's on the back. We'll see what I get. So, winner. In case y'all need to see it. Just now opening it up. And it is... Oh, Luffy. Okay. Well, I, I thought it was the other Luffy, but we'll take this one. <laughs> Not bad. Yep, that'll be it. That's it for the deck profile, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what changes y'all would make to it. Or, you know, or if y'all give it a try. Let me know how, how y'all feel, feel on it. And I'll see y'all with the next deck uh, for the next week. All right, y'all. This is Silent E TCG, and I'm out. Thank y'all again for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And, uh, you know, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know if uh, how the deck... How the day looks and you know, if y'all if y'all see any changes need to be made. Definitely appreciate the the feedback and the views, the likes of course, and again subscribe. Thank y'all, have a good one, peace out.